Hey everyone! Look at these blades in action. Pretty cool in slow motion, right? On one side, we got the crosscut blade, and on the other, the ripping blade. They might look somewhat similar, but trust me, they have distinct jobs. Let's dive into what sets them apart and when to use each one. First up, the crosscut blade. See those tightly packed teeth? They're designed to give you a clean cut, especially when you're cutting across the grain of the wood. Think of it like a fine tooth comb. It's all about precision. Now, switch gears to the ripping blade. Check out those broader teeth, spaced out a bit more. This blade's made for cutting along the wood's grain. It's like the difference between a sprinter and a marathon runner. It's built for longer, straighter cuts, tearing through the wood efficiently. Let's take a closer look at the components of a saw blade. The teeth are the cutting edges of the blade. Their design and spacing determine the type of cut and the finish. The gullet is the space between the teeth. Its primary function is to provide a space for the removal of sawdust. Expansion slots are cuts made into the blade. They help reduce vibrations and prevent the blade from warping due to heat. The arbor hole is the central hole in the blade. It's where the blade is mounted to the saw. Now let's focus on the crosscut blade. Firstly, the teeth configuration. Crosscut blades typically have more teeth. This design ensures a smoother cut, especially essential when you want fine finishes. When should you use a crosscut blade? It's specifically designed for cutting wood perpendicular to the grain. In simpler terms, it's for cuts that go across the wood's natural lines. When should you use a crosscut blade? It's specifically designed for cutting wood perpendicular to the grain. In simpler terms, it's for cuts that go across the wood's natural lines. Now, let's shift our attention to the ripping blade. Starting with the teeth configuration. Ripping blades are characterized by having fewer, larger teeth. This design allows for the efficient removal of material as you cut. In terms of its primary uses, the ripping blade is your go-to when cutting wood parallel to the grain. Essentially, it's designed to cut along the natural lines of the wood. Why use a ripping blade? The main advantages are its speed and efficiency. It's built for faster cuts, quickly removing material without unnecessary resistance. Moving on, let's discuss combination blades. Combination blades, as the name suggests, combine features of both crosscut and ripping blades. You'll notice the varied tooth design, incorporating elements of both types. So, when should you consider using a combination blade? These blades are best suited for general woodworking tasks, especially when you don't want to switch between blades frequently. They're versatile, allowing for both crosscuts and rip cuts without needing to change the tool. This means less downtime and more efficient work. All right, everyone, that wraps up our deep dive into miter saw blade materials. I genuinely hope you found value in today's content. For those of you who crave more interaction and discussions, we have active communities on Telegram and Discord. Dive deeper, share your thoughts, ask questions, and engage with like-minded individuals.